yourself. When my dad the hospital, you cook my food, care come give me every day. When the doctor said, I'm not my body like a protein, you boil up the yam and the banana, them. When I, when I could be able to eat again. Thank you so much. I love you, brother. Big up yourself. Um, my brother the bishop say that he's loving your testimony. Kim Possible Waterhouse, big up your brother. Big up the bishop himself. I am so grateful for my testimony. I was very... Tell your brother, um, the bishop, that I was kind of... I, I was in a dark place, I remember, when I was going through my scarring. And I was, I think, it was just, I was questioning God. Like, I was like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why, why, why? But I'm kind of over that stage of my life. I came out of that dark place. I know why me. I know why I was chosen. I'm grateful for my testimony and telling that I um I received the word and I'll do my best to just share my testimony as much as possible to give God his glory as much as possible and that's just exactly what I'm doing. Um is there any other questions? Let me just run through some questions real quick so that we now have to go back through it um over and over. What a testimony. Glory be to God, he's true kings. Amen. Somebody said, what you've been through, I've been through something similar. Amen. Big up yourself. Who is that? Um, sexy Keisha, big up yourself. Um, in God. Send the questions, guys, so I can just answer them real quick. Fetopia, I will definitely be there in Bermuda. Get ready for the queen. I'm so excited to be back on the stage. I'm so happy. I'm not pregnant, guys. No, I'm not pregnant. I feel like my stomach is still a little bit swollen, but no, I'm not pregnant. I'm great. I'm good. I've been dancing around. I've been in rehearsals, guys. I'm getting ready for my shows and my performances. I'm excited. Um, I lost a lot of weight, but I'm still good. Empress said, Jeremiah 23 is not my word. Like fire declares the Lord and like the armor that breaks the rock in pieces. Amen. Yes, Sister Kiki, right? That's so Empress Le Glam. If you're in New York City and you want to get your hair done, make sure you check out Empress Le Glam, my hairstylist, um, who is also my sister in worship. Um, what are the questions? You're a beautiful soul. So many people have been having all these health issues. I'm praying for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, is it true that that person came to DR to look for you? I don't even talk to that person um, at all. Um, funny enough, that person will learn, you know, not to trouble God's people. And I'm just waiting for the day where he come and speak his truth. You know, most of the lies that was told on me, I feel like he lost a good friend and him know it. But let's wait and see if him will have it in him heart to be strong enough to speak him truth, you know, because him know the real truth. Um, what else? The people that came to DR, I don't want to forget you guys. Um, so many, of my, so many of my friends rushed to DR when they heard what I was going through. So big up to Mida, um, that came out there immediately. Um, Carly was there, even though I wasn't talking to her at the time when she come, she still came. And um, who else came? Nancy came. Estelita came. My sister Fenis, as I told you guys, she never left me a minute or a second. Um, am I missing any? Angel! Angel came. Oh my God. So many of my friends rushed to the DR when they heard what was happening. And so many people wanted to come, to be honest. Um, so many people was concerned. Like I said, I'm really appreciative of everyone. Um... I heard everyone that was reaching out and everyone was praying. So I'm just so grateful. God bless me is out today. When you hang up, go over my YouTube and go watch my video, guys. God bless me video is out. It's on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and watch this journey with me. Um, I'm so grateful for this journey, for this new life, for this new start. Um, I decided to go with God bless me rather than my gospel song and my reggae song because it just tells you guys my journey and what I've been through. So in that song, you know, I've said so many things that means a lot to me.
Me have a scar in a me chest to prove a God be worshipping. So me dash me whole life bringing a new beginning. You know, so many things in that song means a lot. So that's why I chose that song. But in truth and honesty, I do want to do my gospel song. I just take, I, I just think it will take more time to come. And my reggae song comes out next week that I'm so excited about. My first big major um, reggae song. Mm, a lot of people think that I was doing this to do an album. No, I do not have an album. I was in the hospital. I couldn't talk. I couldn't record. Um, I just recently can talk and record strong enough back to myself. So I'm just recently going to be doing um, most of my songs. So don't feel like I'm trying to do a scam of promoting an album. That was never the case. And it's still not the case. I do not have an album coming. I wasn't recording any songs. Like I said, when they took the tubes out of my throat, I was talking so fine. Like my voice was so weak. Mm, God be the glory. So no, I do not have any album coming, but hopefully we get one by the end of the year. I can work on things starting now. Um, so look out for new, 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 new song is coming soon. New, new, brand new, brand new, new, new. You know, that is another song that I love. But like I said, I just didn't want to promote songs. I wanted to share my testimony first. Um, somebody said, are you scared to perform on stage again? Um, I don't know. I've been sweating for hours. I don't know if I sweat, but I'm not scared. Queen is still here. I tell you that I'm fully healed. I'm rejuvenated. I'm ready to do this again. Yes. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent better. And ready again. I'm even, I think I'm even better than before. So yes, I'm not scared just to answer your question. Spice, I love your new song. It bad. Thank you so much. God bless me. Yes. God bless me. Song is out today. All right. Um, I think I answered enough question, guys. I love you. Remember to give God the glory today. Um, show up your blue art. Um, right. This a queen. Shan, stay good. Big up yourself. Um, Atta Rice, my DJ. Big up yourself. Richie Feeling. I love you, my brother. I, yo, we have to talk about Richie Feeling. Sometimes I've had a lot of friends that has betrayed me in the past. People that hurt me, people that was so disloyal. Um, but when you have good friends and good people, you have to kind of appreciate them. You know, when you have people that is really for you, you got to appreciate them. And I tell Richie feeling that I ate him every day. But I think today I want to tell him that I love him. I love you, Richie. You are like... Most of the times when I call you, when I, you know, I'm going through a dark place, you don't know, like, just talking to you. Even though you're so mixed up, and you come like one satellite, this shit, a ram, forgive me the people, them business. It does something to me. It makes me happy to know that somebody actually cares about me. So big up to Richie. I love you. Um, Ray Alexander was so worried. My booking agent, he's not even my booking agent. He's like a father. He's like a brother. He's like an uncle. It's like a family that I don't know that I had. Like, I don't know when would I do without Ray Alexander. Um, we're officially open for booking, speaking of Ray Alexander. If you want to see me in a city near you, um, cool booking agency, find him. Cool booking agency, tag your promoter, find your promoter, tell them we ready for the spice again. Um... Sparky baby, I love you. Big up yourself, mama. Far where I come from. You don't know the tingle. Um, what else? Billions. Big up yourself. Um, who was the man you're talking about? I don't know. I'm not in a relationship, guys. I'm a single woman at the moment. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. Um, actually I'm going to pass my one year celibacy when in a couple of days. Yeah. I did. I just realized I'm going to pass my one year celibacy. Um, I think next week, next week is going to be one year that I abstain from sex. That's amazing. That's a blessing. I'm fully, whew, I'm like a new person. Yeah, but ready for skin right out right now. Yeah. 
Um, what else? Say louder in the back for the ones who don't know. Somebody said we stay in single until God send the husband. <laughs> Absolutely. Um Sparky Baby said, I'm so glad you're okay. Me this stress out. I believe you and I got your message from Ray Spark. So thank you so much and big up yourself. Um, like I said, big up to everybody that was praying for me. I love you guys. Any other question? Um, how are the kids? The kids are doing well. The kids are in Jamaica. Um, you know, they go to school there. So Nicola and Nicola Tai is there. When the incident happened to me, um, I remember texting my mom and telling her to, you know, not let him go to school for that week because I know that people was even, you know, saying so many things and I didn't want them to go through the agony of walking through the school gate Walking through the school gate every day and people are saying, your mother dead, your mother this. Like, wanna speak some things over my life. Me that fear can't sleep. Even in my stage where I was so sick, I had to be praying against and canceling up no final words because people was just sending RIP, saying so many things, saying I was in a coma, saying I had a heart attack. Say I heard all of that and... It just goes for sure. You said people are so vile in these days. Like even in your darkest moments, I feel like people will still try to tear you down. Um, but my buying up on the words and send it back to the pit ahead. My blood do not man. It never dug out a manifest by earth. So even when I couldn't speak, you know, I was definitely blooding up no on the words, you know. The media was going crazy too. The day media was going crazy. I was disappointed in a lot of media. One of the media, especially from England, um, I need to give him a call just to ask, why would you come out as someone from the media that people look up to? Because you have a lot of media where we look up to. You have media, when a media bring it, you, you believe. But why would you come out and say I was in a coma? When you, you never hear from nobody, like I literally have Ray Alexander, my booking agent number on my page and speaking to him, I said, did this person call you? He's like, no, then why wouldn't you pick up your phone and call Ray and ask for facts before you, 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 you bring it to my fans and push them in a one shock for say me have a heart attack for say me in a coma for spread all these rumors and all these lies that was so unnecessary. It's like when I take advantage of the situation and clout chase, even when I was dying in my lowest moment, when I still, I use my name for clout. Even people when I talk to, I use my name for clout. Even the enemy, them, I use my name for clout. Like, come on, who don't have no humanity? I'm going to put a little oil on my lip. Give me one second, because my lip is getting dry. What a life long. Somebody say I need to sue them spice. Them. them is not God, baby girl. Exactly. I saw the drunk of them stay. Um. Yeah, and I'm not even going to pinpoint anyone. I'm just trying to say if, if we can do better as a people. That up here, I give me lip, you know. Nobody got to start saying me do my lip. This is not even how my lip look in real life. It's giving me a little lip at the top. But, Spice is not pregnant. This prick is her celebrating her rebirth. Thank you so much. All right. So, um, somebody says, sue them. Somebody says, sue them. And you see, a lot of times I had you know, the capabilities of suing a lot of people from the media, but that's just not what I'm about. I think I've kind of accepted that I'm a celebrity, I'm a famous person, so people will have their own opinion, and I think I value, like, everybody's opinion of me, and I feel like not everybody are going to like you, and I think that's something that we all have to learn to accept and learn to know that the more haters you have, you know, you just have to make them be a motivation. And so I'm not even that angry person to say, me go cost the body or me go, you know, like I tell you, the second life has really opened my eyes for me. It has changed me a lot. It has made me become a better person. I'm more patient, you know, and so to each his own. If anybody out there want to do wrong, 
that's their answer to God. It's not my answer. And so I leave them to do what they want to do. But I am, I am a person, like I said, I'm a woman of God. So I'm going to try my best to live by his word as much as I can. When I went through what I went through, a lot of people said, like, oh my God, this is so tragic. You have to go baptize. You have to go this. You have to go that. But my heart with God is at a place where nobody cannot tell me different. Like my relationship with God, like my testimony can already tell you that me have a relationship with God, but I'm not going to rush to baptize. If I know I'm not 100% ready, like 80% of me can go get baptized because I live in his truth. I live in his word. You know, I'm a strong believer, but what I'm to the next 20% where no say me have a fuck before my married, like what I'm to the other 20% where no certain look at things. Every time I talk one bad would come out of my mouth. Like there's so many things to this that it's not an overnight thing, but I'm taking my walk. And I know that the day will definitely come because I'm a woman of God. I'm a strong believer, but I'm not going to run and jump and get baptized until I know for a fact. Say me 100% ready for take that walk there. Me 100% ready for take that journey there. Because enough people jump up and run going to church and me and Uno and God know say, Uno never ready. And Uno not ready. And then Uno become a new sense to people and make people have this bad things to say about Christian. And Uno do it, you know? And nobody else are Uno do it. But I'm not going to walk that walk until I know that I am 100% ready to walk that walk. Yeah. Me know what did me say, say, I'm going to fuck on them look or something there. Yeah, come let like me look at sex and them something there. So, when me going to take up myself No, I'm not going to tell me. Why, Jesus, I love you. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Yeah, Christianity is a strong and powerful thing. You have to be ready, you know. Um, and I know that, you know. I know my little things I want to do. I don't just go and know what I want to do. I don't know things I want to do. Nobody watch me and comment about me. Worry about yourself. Mm-hmm. I have to worry about it to say because trust me when I tell you though. Hey God, when God comes is a different story. Um vice is just too real. And the truth, but the truth. When am I gonna take up myself? No. I'm gonna act like because I could act like a lot of who not act like. I love people that act like, but oh me, I gotta take up myself. Eh? I run, go say me, I go dip myself now in the water and say me, I baptize. And like me, I mock God. That I would have mockery. When God is ready for me to baptize, he's going to send my husband. He's going to send um, a man of God, a man that believes in God. Um, because I know he's going to send my husband because him already know say, me, I go on, look at sex and so. So, if God don't know, say, <laughs> you know, we're not in the live the other way. Yeah? Me, I go, hang up. Me, I go come on for the live. Yeah? We're going to leave this conversation for another day. Let me just end this live because if God already don't know my little heart's desire, I, all the little things that we need, and all the go on, look at sex and so. Then, him know, him I go place the right man, the right husband in my life so that. The little part there in my mind where I go wander and think about sex because somebody a Christian is a woman. You know? <laughs> Why? I love you guys. I'm not going to make my first life come back into my second life. I'm going to leave it right there. I want to come off of this life because I don't want to go back to my old self. Just know that I love you guys. Um, and that um that was my testimony that I shared with you guys. That was what Jesus did for me. Um, just know that I appreciate it. Just know that I appreciate you guys, that I love you guys, that I'm grateful for the priors. Just know that I shared my testimony and that was it. And just know that my song is out today and it's called God I Bless Me. Just roll over YouTube and go watch the video. Um, Kem Kem, I love you. Me already big you up already, boy. You're late, but you always see the live coming. You know them gonna share it all about. Um I just can't help myself. It's just who I am. I just have to be me. I just have to be real. I just have to, just, just who I am. I can't wait to see you guys. Okay, man, get ready for me. I come out next week. I can't say, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I have a new show, new performers. Um, yeah, that's just what it is. Um, 
How long are you going to perform in um, April 8th? One hour. I normally perform for one hour. My set is so big, I have to be cutting out a lot of my catalogs in my performance. And I don't like that. So I'm actually trying to plan like a live where I can gather all the songs that I've done and do a live performance. And uh, everybody can just do warm in and them comfort at them home and watch my performance. Doing all of my songs from the start of my career. That's really a plan that I have to go live. And I, I pray that you guys will appreciate that. But I'm planning that soon. Um... What are the questions? How tall are you? I am actually five. I think I'm five feet or five one. I don't know. I'm very short. Um, yes, I am single. Single, ready to mingle. But I am, um, I am at a place in my life. I don't date boys. So all of you guys who's in my DM trying to do her. I don't date boys. I don't date boys. I am um, moving forward. I want to date a man who knows his worth. I'm, I don't even want to go into that. I'll talk about that on next live. But yes, I'm single. I'm not with anyone at the moment. Not a man. For a reason. Because again, I know found it on Instagram. I fear kind of act like when I'm happy with the man and the man I don't know all kind of things. I don't settle. I'm a very no nonsense type of person. I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to fake. I can fake and I could have fake. But no, I'm living on my real. So if something is right in my spirit, if something is settled with me, if something is right with me, trust me. I don't know. It's not going to work. This boy in Spice says Spice is pretty. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Somebody say exactly. No, yeah, that's the truth. When that is the right time to be here, <laughs> Gwanda, man. Um, answer my question. Hot underscore girly. I didn't see a question. I'm sorry. This is moving so far. Um, Charts of Spice, I love you. Somebody say, if I have baby already, I'll leave one of my fans to answer you. British, big up yourself. Good morning. I love you. Thank you for everything that you have done for me and for everything that you've doing for my career. Big up all of the DJ, them, the dish jacket, the radio people, them, even the bloggers. You guys really promote me a lot. So thank you too as well. Um, what else? Um, come to, uh, Steve original jerk chicken, big up yourself. Um, the song bad Menango lie. Thank you. Um, what's that? Tashika. Thank you, Tashika. God is good. Thank you. Amen to that. Thank you guys. Go over YouTube. Go listen to my song called God bless me. It's out now. Somebody say you are the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Is she pregnant for true? I'll leave my fans to answer that one. Um, can't wait to see you back in Jamaica. I'm performing in Jamaica. I think the 24th, mega day, Montego Bay, 24th of April. I think so. But I'm definitely coming to Jamaica to perform. All right. What else is there? All right. Somebody says, stay safe. I love you guys. The song, Bad. Yeah, the song is out. It's called God Have Blessed Me. Um, the video is out. Big up to Bling Blang. Oh my God. The team for making that video. Oh my God. The video is out. No. God Have Blessed Me video. Please go over my YouTube. Go watch it. Go subscribe. Um, we're ready again. The queen is back. Call on a mother, on a father, on a sister, on a brother, on a niece, on a nephew, on a aunt, on a uncle. Everybody call them. I met them. Know that the queen is back. I'm ready again. So you don't know. Once again, I'm definitely going to be in Catherine all the 22nd. I'm going to be in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, I'm going to be in Cayman next week. I'm going to be in New York, April 8th. So everybody, see cool international day on the live. I'm going to be in the 22nd. I'm going to be in Jamaica. Yeah. Follow cool international for all the bookings and everything. Make the people them know that the queen is ready again. Oh, you're going to be Jesus. Oh, God. Pin this. That is cool international. So tell every promoter, tell everybody, follow his page. Um, get his WhatsApp. It's on my bio. You know, his number is there. It's easy to reach out. It's easy to get connected with my correct and official booking agent. I just pin him right there. It's cool international. Um, somebody say, Oh, spice lip looks so. Oh. See me come out of the filter. Oh, my lip look. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, girl. There's nothing done to my face, guys. I explained that I lost a lot of weight. Um, so my item red. Let's wake up. But I step out of the filter so you can see my lips properly. That's my real lips. Um, so there's nothing done to my face. 
what else is there? Um, somebody, um, um, Ariel, <laughs> big up to Sharon Burke over there and big up to Ariel, my other booking agent as well. When I don't know, say that's the, the official thing to do. And big up Violet. Of course, I love you so much. Um, big up to Ray Alexander, big up to Ariel who does bookings as well for, um, Sharon Burke. Um, I have a team of people that does bookings. Somebody said, take off this filter, Spice, because I'm still not listening and reading. Oh, you take off the filter. Poor, poor connection. I don't know how to do that, but I love you guys. Them said, well, I just make a lunch break. Me know them now do the people, them work. <laughs> I'm sorry for every business. I'm going to come off a live so I can't go back to the people, them work. Um, big up to Anna over there um, in DR and also my other friends you know i just want you guys to know that i love you guys i appreciate you um i'm gonna leave you guys to go stream my song um it's out now it's called gotta bless me next week i have a reggae song that is going to be out as well i wanted to put out both of them maria big up yourself in dr i love you i love anna i appreciate you guys for journeying with me you know just for sticking through with me um Everybody that has been there for me, I really, really appreciate you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love you too, Spice. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to leave you guys. I'll see you guys more often starting from today. When I go get tired of me, um, my song is out now. Go and stream it. Go support it. Go buy it. It's called God I Bless Me. The video is out. And that's just what it is. And I've, I share my story with you guys. So, and thank you for sticking through my entire story. You know, stay positive, be positive, big up Father God. I write this out there. Just remember that Jesus is King. Thank you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon.